Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use the cofunction identities to convert equivalent trig expressions. Cofunction identities are used to convert trigonometric expressions as let's say cos 3 pi over 10 into a form that is easier to work with. So for example here we are asked to convert cos 3 pi over 10 into sine pi over 5 because we have to show the value of cos 3 pi over 10 and to do that we had just we have to convert it into sine pi over 5 which we have the value for. In cofunction identities we work with radians so really all you have to know for radians is that pi is equal to 180 degrees this means that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi halfway between 0 and 180 degrees or pi is pi over 2 so for cofunction identities, we only have to worry about quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, so these are not relevant. Now let's start with example 1. Given that sine pi over 5 is equal to 0 0.5878, use a cofunction identity to evaluate cos 3 pi over 10. Now we basically have to convert cos 3 pi over 10 into sine pi over 5. So the first step is always to check if 3 pi over 10 is in quadrant 1 or 2. We can do this by simply checking if it's lower or higher than pi over 2. Well pi over 2 is equal to 5 pi over 10. So 3 pi over 10 is in quadrant 1 less than pi over 2. So let's say it's here. Now the second step is to write out the angle, just the angle. So 3 pi over 10 is equal to 90 degrees, which is pi over 2, minus the leftover angle. Now the next step is to solve for this angle. 0 equals pi over 2 minus beta minus 3 pi over 10. So theta is equal to pi over 2 minus 3 pi over 10, which is equal to 5 pi over 10 minus 3 pi over 10, which is equal to 2 pi over 10, which is equal to pi over 5. Now we can simply rewrite the equation. So 3 pi over 10 equals pi over 2 minus beta. Now we just solve for beta, it's pi over 5. Now we originally started out with cos 3 pi over 10, so we want to bring this back into the old form. And we can do this by simply multiplying both sides by cos. So cos 3 pi over 10 is equal to the cos of pi over 2 minus pi over 5. Now we select the cofunction identity. Now since it's in quadrant 1, we are looking for the, those equations that are in quadrant 1, which are the ones on this side. You can see this because it says pi over 2 90 degrees minus an angle is our angle. That's for quadrant 1. In quadrant 2 it's 90 degrees plus another angle. So we are looking for sine and we have cos. So we're looking for sine, we have cos. So we use the first one. So our cofunction identity is sine theta equals cos pi over 2 minus theta. Now you can see that we have pi over 5 that we can sub in into both of those. This is the same as this one when we sub in pi over 5. So that's what we're going to do. So sine of pi over 5 equals the cos of pi over 2 minus pi over 5. And so we've proven that cos 3 pi over 10 is equal to sine pi over 5. 